Now all our blocks are set up, really congratulation. The problem is that I can unlock them and if I unlock them I'm able to access whatever I want, which is not the point. I want to create enough resistance, enough security so I cannot allow myself to go if I have cravings. Now to do so we have a bench of options on how to lock our blocks. Now before moving further we would invite you to actually test your digital bad habits to see if it's dangerous, to see if it's an addiction. This will help you to gain self-awareness, assess your addiction levels compared to others and to get personalized insights from addiction experts. This test is completely free and anonymous. You will receive the results by email. It's really easy to do. You can do it in four minutes. At the end, you will get a score out of 100 and you will know what's going well and what's not, what could be dangerous and what to watch out for. You will also get most importantly insights from digital addiction experts on what to do and how you can improve things. You want to activate the block and go into this little menu unlocked. We want to click on it. And here you have a bunch of options to lock the block. The most basic one, the timer. So I want to go in a full focus session for maybe one hour. Okay. So here I can select one hour and save it. I'm not going to put one hour because I'm going to be locked and for the demonstration. So it's going to lock it three minutes. Once it's locked, Locked for two minutes. There is nothing you can do. Like really, uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, I can go back here. I can refresh. There's nothing that I can do. I cannot change the time settings. So I have to wait. It's right in here. I just have to wait one minute and you can see that I cannot change. I can postpone it. Like I can add one minute if I want. Let's say I'm going to save it and you see it's extending to two minutes. So now I have to work. Now, if you really want to master cold turkey and eliminate toxic habits from your life, check out our free step-by-step -step course. From start to finish, break digital habits and protect yourself from temptations. Focus on what matters and finally achieve your goals. Now, let's say I have my block gambling blocker that helps me to quit gambling addiction. What I want is to not be able to deactivate this block easily at all. I want it to be super secure. So where I can do that is to go into the timer mode and put it on as long as possible. And basically, it's going to keep the block active forever. However, think twice before using this option, because if you save it and you activate it, then you cannot change anything. You cannot uninstall Cold Turkey. You cannot remove extensions and you cannot modify the block. So we would recommend you to go for this option only when you have tested it for maybe a few weeks first and um, then a month. And then if you feel that your block is perfectly set up and you are well protected and you don't expect more from it, go ahead and put it on as long as possible. But always remember that you can change your mind for some reason or that you can realize later that some keywords blocking some of your gambling websites may actually be blocking some other websites that are legit and that you need. So for this reason, it may be better to go for maybe three months so you can still change your mind in three months if there is a problem. It's still better than nothing. An alternative is to go for the password one. So as you can see, it's a pro feature. Uh, so we'll, you will have to buy the, the software is 35 euros. We're going to talk a bit more about the pro. I, I think it's totally worth it, but we will come back to it. Anyway, for the pro user, you can add a password. It's interesting because you can write this password and put it on a piece of paper and bring this piece of paper in another house or give it to a friend and tell him hey you know what i'm trying to stop my gambling addiction um please give me this paper only in one week two weeks or only if i really uh, don't know do something crazy for you now in order to protect the two most important parts of my day the morning and the night I want to create a block that prevents me to go on distractions that are going to either make me stress before sleeping or that are going to fill my mind with garbage when I'm waking up and I have all this energy and creativity. Those moments are super important in your day. We've created a really nice digital detox around that. So if you're more interested about knowing about those key moments and how to protect them, you can check the link below. So you can activate the block and you allow it to block it only during the day so for doing this you will go in time range and you can either lock or unlock it like if you're doing a lunch break for example you can block it for the full day but unlock it between 12 and 2 for now as i want it for the night i'm gonna lock it and 
I want to lock it from uh, let's say 10 p.m. I think it's a good time to go to bed until until 9 a.m. So now we have my last hours of the day and my first hours of the day that are locked. This allows me to let go a bit of work if I'm a work alcoholic, to let go uh, social media that overstimulate me and to focus or to let go on things that are a bit more enjoyable, like, I don't know, your family, your friends, uh, reading, <laughs> all those kind of uh, activities. Before locking, of course, you see that you're about to lock that is enabled. As you can see, it's enabled here. You won't be able to disable it and install. Um, that's exactly the same. So it says lock in an hour because for now it's just eight 50 p.m. So as long as it's not the timing, I can change my mind. Now another block that I want to show you called light cravings. So it can be about Instagram, about like little bad habits that are not as strong as my gambling addiction, let's say, but they're still annoying. You know, when I spend too much time on it, I regret it. I'm like, well, what did I do with my day? I don't, I don't move on my work. Not nice. And I want to block those cravings, so I'm gonna activate the block, but I don't want to lock them as powerfully as the others because you know what? It's okay. It's not catastrophic. So there's a bunch of option here, but we're basically going to leverage the concept of resistance. So resistance is a concept that we cover in depth in our digital purge program, but in a nutshell is a few steps that you add to make your brain and to make yourself lazy to do something that is not productive or that you wouldn't like to do. If I want to add resistance on watching TV, I can hide or I can put the remote in the car. For example, I let it in the car, so each time I want to watch the TV, I have to go you know, to the car to find the keys and to go down. That, that, that makes me lazy, you know? I'm like, hey, you know what? Do I really want to watch TV? Uh, maybe not for now. Maybe I'm, I'm going to play guitar instead. And you do productive things. That That's really cool. Resistance is a really powerful concept. And here we're going to use it in two ways. So the first way we can use it is by random text. I love this one. It's, it's, it's quite fun. You choose a number of characters and it tells you, okay, this is going to take you like around four to nine seconds to type it. So I'm going to save it so you understand how it works. So now the block is active and if I want to cancel it, I have to type like really stupidly what is written on the screen. If I do a mistake, it's not going to work. Now I have written it, so it unlock it. This took me like really fast, but if I want again put like 2000 words, uh, which is going to put to 6 to 15 minutes, this is huge, you know, and you have like to copy all those things. You cannot copy paste, of course. And yeah, your brain is going to be like, hey, you know what? Do I really want to scroll on Instagram? Like, pff, do I really need this? Um, I would encourage you to experiment with it to see what is a good resistance type for you. Just a quick tip, you get used to it. So for example, at the beginning, if you start with 100 characters, you may be like, hey, I'm, I'm lazy. But on the long term, you're going to get used to it. And at some point, you may be at 500 and you'll be like, that, that's nothing. I'm, I'm used to it. So be careful about that. Now we also get restart. I really like this one because I usually tend to open a lot of windows when I work. And basically what it does is that it only unlock the block. It gives you the possibility to unlock it only if you turn off your computer, uh, which for most of us, I think it's a lot of resistance because we have to close everything. We have to save our work. We have to order things. We have like 20 tabs open and we're like, ah, you know what? I'm just going to put my computer to sleep. And we do that for one week. If it's your case, restart is really going to add that resistance that is just enough to prevent those light cravings. Again, it's for light cravings. Uh, you understand that if it's about a heavy addiction, you're going to restart it. Of course, that, that's nothing if because your brain is craving it so much. So restarting or typing two to four minutes of characters is nothing. However, if it's just like uh, curiosity about who is talking about what on Facebook, on Instagram, what is the last video on YouTube, what, what is the last the funny thing I can see on TikTok, those things are light and the brain pff, is used to it so it doesn't really care so much about them unless of course you're addicted to each one of, of these which which could be and in this case i would encourage you to go on the timer the password or maybe the timer but not uh, the restart and the random all right so now you should be able to understand a bit better the logic of cold turkey and how to block yourself from basically anything and everything
And of course, because the bad habit is really personal, we would encourage you to play, to experiment with those cold turkey settings so you find your perfect protective environment. And it's going to be progressive, it's going to be an iteration and you're going to realize that it takes maybe a little bit of time to build that perfect environment. But remember that you're going to save a lot of time, you're going to save a lot of resources and you're going to feel much prouder of yourself at the end of the day. So we hope by now you are having a clean and efficient cold trick installation. Of course, as you may guess, a simple software is not enough to quit digital bad habits. And that's why we've created the Digital Purge, an online course to give you the tools you need to understand your triggers and to leverage psychology so you can finally hack any digital bad habit you want to get rid of. Rather than relying on willpower and suffering by trying to resist temptations, we teach you how to identify and destroy them so you can feel in peace. To give you an extra motivation, we drop down in the description a really nice early coupon so you can get a promotion for the number one course that breaks any digital addiction.